All right, another feel-good story of the day. Here's the piece of excrement. Greg Ross Jr. He's 46. The guy is 6'4". And weighs 275 pounds. He is a giant compared to the little nine-year-old Charlotte. There he is. The piece of crap. Look at this. Mugshot revealed after man charged with kidnapping nine-year-old Charlotte Cena, who was found in a cabinet in his camper. There we go. The man accused of kidnapping Charlotte Cena looked dazed and disheveled in a new mugshot released after he was ordered held without bond earlier Tuesday. As authorities investigate whether he may have been involved in other child abductions, Greg Ross Jr., 46, was snapped with a scraggly beard and a receding hairline in the mugshot. He has described him as six foot four and about two hundred and seventy five pounds. Goes on to say the mugshot was released hours after Ross was officially charged with kidnapping at an arraignment at the Milton Town Court. The article goes on to say he was taken earlier Tuesday to the Saratoga County Jail, where he's being held without bond as cops continue to probe whether he may be involved in others' disappearances. Police will spend the day questioning Ross to see if he has been a stalker, stalking her, stalking Charlotte, if he is a pedophile. He's got her in a cabinet. Why would he do that if he is not? Or if he is simply a criminal who was trying to make money off her ransom? I don't know. That's a good question. But that blame. That's kind of creepy. I mean, here's some pics of the tent. Dang, that's a big tent. There's some shots of them doing their investigation. It remains unclear if Ross allegedly targeted Charlotte specifically or went after her at random when she was alone for a few minutes while riding her bike through Marion Lake State Park where she had been camping with her family on Saturday. The, su the suspect lived just two miles from her house according to an address listed on his vehicle registration. She said the big break in the case came earlier Monday when Ross reportedly dropped a ransom letter bearing fingerprints in the, the Serene family's mailbox. Well, maybe he thought he was going to get some moolah from him. Investigators entered the fingerprints into the database and matched them to Ross Jr., who, who was arrested in Saratoga in 1999 on DUI charge. He literally, this guy, he's a complete idiot. He literally drove up to the family's mailbox, assuming they were not home, at 4.20 in the morning opens the mailbox and inserts the ransom note, leaving crucial piece of evidence behind. Two law enforcement teams in a helicopter then descended on a Boston Spa address where the suspect kept his camper behind his mother's house and arrested him after some resistance at about 6.30 p.m. The girl's parents were notified that she was rescued and appeared to be physically unharmed, but she was taken to a local hospital for, for precautions, just to check it out and make sure she's all right. Thank God. And it's going on to say that the fam family's very thankful. Absolutely. 
Absolutely. And there you have it, the feel-good story of the day that this piece of crap. I don't know. Maybe he's not a pedo. What's going on to say that this idiot, he wants some money, traumatize that poor little girl, just lived down the street, probably was stalking her. I don't know. I just, I just can't stand it. I can't stand people to do this kind of stupid, stupid, stupid crap. But anyway, feel good story of the day. He's off the streets. They need to lock him up. Or he's crazy. I don't know. I mean, look at look at them eyes. <laughs> good Lord. I mean, he could be just, you know, obviously he's, I mean, crazy. You abduct a kid for ransom. you, you got to be, there's something going on up there. Right? Well, there you have it. Feel good story of the day. That's what's happening.